Hi guys, it's Suf and welcome to a new video. Can you guess what we're playing today just by the screen that we're looking at right now? That's right, we're playing Tower Defense Simulator. There is the new Easter event, the duck hunt. You basically have to kill a load of ducks and collect crops and then fight this evil guy. So let's see if we can win while we're on camera. So what I will do is I will come back to you when we're in a game. See you then. Okay guys, so what I've done for this video is I've actually sped it up a little bit. Each round of tower defense simulator takes a very long time to do. You can be there for, you know, upwards of about 30 minutes and I didn't want to make that video this long. So what I've done is I sped up the video but you can still see what's going on. So a good tip that I like to use to start off with is I always like to have one person who is mainly doing the crops and then the other three will do the defense. Obviously when it gets later into the round, the person who is doing the crops in the building, they then put uh, their troops down. I always find it works really, really well just having one person focusing all their money at the start on doing the farms. Another thing I always like to do is at the very start of the round is use a really cheap troop. So, for example, I'm using Toxic Gunner. I love Toxic Gunner. It's so cheap and it's so effective. But anything sort of like a militant, a soldier, a scout, I find they work quite well. So I always put the early troop down. Um, another good thing to do is have one person saving up for an expensive troop. Something like a mini gunner or something like that. So then you've got that rapid defence going from pretty early on. I actually love this event, you know, I love that there is other stuff to do as well as just sort of the original tower defense simulator again. Now I love all the events that they make, however I like this one because there's more elements, you've got to get rid of the crops, you've got to build the structures um, to where you're putting your snipers and your rangers and your mortars and things like that, I love that. I also love the map as well, I'm really into nature and greenery, so I love how much sort of green there is, I like that you're sort of in a farmland where you can imagine ducks to be, I think it's really really well made. And it's different, we've not actually had a tower defence event like this as far as I know, or as far as I've been playing anyway. The only annoying thing that I found from this event is you complete it, it's not that easy to complete. And then when you do, you don't get an event troop like you normally do. Now many people have actually been speculating that this might be because the swarmer is coming back into the shops. Now I don't know how true that is, but oh my goodness, I would love to be able to get the swarmer. Swarmer, from what I've seen, is one of my favourite troops along with the gladiator that is no longer available, as it was an event tower I'm pretty sure, but I would love to be able to buy that. I also really like the look of the new engineer troop, however it's so expensive. It took me ages to be able to get the accelerator troop and just thinking of how long it's going to take me to save up 4,500 gems is actually painful. It's going to take so much time but I like to have every single troop so I think I'm just going to go for it. I don't know how well it's going to go but I think I'm just going to go for it. Another really important troop when you're playing the duck hunt is actually the medic. Now normally medic is not a troop that I will take along with me because I don't really see the point in it all that much if I'm honest. It's a great troop but for this event it is absolutely vital. So the first sort of few rounds while you're um, getting rid of the crops and everything like that you will lose a little bit of health especially once the flying ducks come in they're lethal honestly they're lethal so having medics you know two three something like that is really really handy as it will bring up your health bar so when you get to the box the more health you have the more chance you actually have of winning so i always recommend at least one person bringing in a medic the other good thing about the medic is the robot penguins and the boss will um, knock your troops sort of unconscious and I found that when you have your medic leveled up to the top level you can heal them all which makes them be able to shoot again a lot quicker than if you had to wait for sort of the dizzy unconscious spell to wear off which is really really handy especially when you're fighting the boss right at the end. Or, to be fair, even in the normal rounds, because while your troops are unconscious, all the ducks are sneaking past you and getting all the harvest, and you don't want that. You want as much health at the end 
as humanly possible. It's also very important that lots of people bring snipers or rangers. I don't personally like these troops anymore. I used to be a really big fan of the ranger before the accelerator came out, but now I just kind of use the accelerator and I've kind of switched out that troop from the ranger. There's nothing wrong with the ranger and actually it's a very, very handy troop. However, I have found that I do better when I have the accelerator. But for this event, you do need a troop that can shoot flying objects. So a lot of them are sort of the distance. So things like your mortars, your snipers, your rangers, anything like that. Because if you don't do that, you're going to die within the first sort of 10, 15 waves. As you can see with us, we actually only had me that took um, sort of a ranged troop with me. And so you'll see towards the end, we, we do start losing a little bit of health from the flying ducks. Honestly, these ducks are absolutely lethal. I mean, on the Halloween event, I thought the flying witches were bad, but these guys just come and they literally just wipe out your health bar on this. It's terrible. So another thing I like to do, and this is just me, and I've actually seen someone else do it, and it, it honestly, I think it really, really helps. So once you have sort of the structures mainly built, you don't have to have every single one built, but I've found that making a line of mini gunners round where the structures are is a really, really good defense because a lot of the ducks and things like that will get killed before they get into sort of your middle defense. And I found it's actually helped me get further every single round. I went from dying within the first sort of 10, 15 waves to getting to the boss at every single time. I mean, sometimes I die when it gets to the boss, depending on sort of teammates and things like that. But I found that the line, the first line of defense, you know, using things like mini gunners, accelerators, sort of heavy artillery defense is really, really helpful. I don't know about you guys, but I've actually been playing Tower Defense Simulator for a long time and it's come a long way from when I first started. I remember when the update first came out and I was like, oh my god, I hate it because of how different it was. But actually, I really prefer it now, like the animations of the troops and things like that. And they've re recently actually updated it and they have changed the faces of a lot of troops. So if you actually zoom in when you're playing Tower Defense Simulator now, they've all got really hilarious faces. Again, it's going to take some getting used to, but I actually think they're quite cool. Another troop that I've seen a few people use during this event that it can be quite handy, and it is up to you whether you take it because it's fairly expensive for a troop, is the Pursuit. Obviously, you have to be level... I think it's level 100. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's level 100. You have to be level 100 to be able to afford it. But if you put the pursuit on the outskirts, it will hit the boss while the other troops can't hit it. And I thought that was really, really good as well. So as you can see, guys, we've made it to the final round. The duck boss is here. Now, I love the way that the lighting changes from the normal rounds to when the duck boss comes. Now, the problem with the duck boss is he slowly takes 100 health off your health bar. So you have to try and kill him fairly quickly. And it's just about how quick can you level up your troops and things like that. And it's so hard sometimes, honestly. But again, it's practice. I found that some rounds I'll get to the boss fight with like 300 health. And you're like, you know that you're not going to be able to beat it. However, we got into the final round with like 1300, 1400 health. So you, you can almost kind of tell when you're going to be able to beat the boss and when you're not. The more health you have the more likely you are to beat it. So the final boss is where your heavy defense artillery and your medics come into really big play, I have found. You know, you've got the penguins coming at you with the laser beams knocking people out and then, and the duck boss, he comes and runs people over as well and it's just the absolute pure chaos, honestly. But you've just got to carry on leveling, carry on leveling. Part of me wishes they'll bring out a part two for this with an event troop. It's one of my favourite parts of the event is having a limited time troop. And I know they've just recently closed the Halloween event that gave the executioner, but I love an event troop. And I love event skins as well. So these ones um, are duck skins. You've got like a normal classic duck skin and you also have 
the... They almost look like evil ducks. Now, I prefer the cute ducks. I'm a cutesy kind of girl. But I think that both of them look super, super cool. And I know I won't be able to use all of them. So, for example, I already have the golden minigunner skin. So I won't be able to use the minigunner skin. However, I like, I'm a bit of a hoarder, I think. I like collecting things and skins on tower defense is something that I love to collect. I will, I will literally buy any of the skins. So I'm, at the moment, I'm working through the golden skins. Um, but then I'm going to get the toy ones and the basic ones. I'm going to be able to have everything. I am a hoarder. I've got a problem, I know. <laughs> so the final round does actually take quite a lot of time. We were in there for around... I don't know, between 5 and 10 minutes for the final round. And it is intense, I tell you. You're running around and you're levelling up all your troops. And uh, because I put all the medics down, I was running around making sure that all the medics were healing everybody. I can't, honestly can't believe it. Usually we get I get down to like 100 health and I just think, oh my god, this is not going to go well. But we did it and I'm so happy. But after 5 or 10 minutes, we did it. And oh my god, we still have 500 health. I think that's the best that I've actually ever done in the event. Okay, guys, we did it. We beat the duck boss. Oh, I'm so happy that I managed to do that on camera for you guys to see. I hope you enjoyed the tips that I gave you as well for the event. Not that it works every single time, but it might help you just win. You never know. So just remember to like the video, leave a comment of what your favourite troop is in Tower Defence Simulator and remember to subscribe if you want to see more types of videos. Okay, that's it for today guys. See you later. Bye!